Hi, my name's Lee Blackwell. I'm one of the facilitators this time for the Flexible Learning course. This will be a screen recording uh, that offers an orientation to the websites that make up the course. Uh, what we're looking at now is the Flexible Learning course main website. It's You can get to it by typing in flexible-learning-course.blogspot.com and that will bring you up with this website. What you first see when the website loads is the latest information for the course. Scrolling down through the page, you'll see some older information. So the latest information in this particular time of the recording is the schedule just about done and some notes about the schedule. Previously, there was a talk assessment in, pro in open access and flexible learning courses. So that's uh, some information about a talk that was made. Uh, notes about revamping the course. Mainly these notes here are between the facilitators as they prepare for the course. Some notes about the course, how to join the course, etc. etc. And when you do the course or when the course starts, when you type in that web address, the latest news will be in relation to your progress um, in, in the course and some announcements of what you need to be doing and things like that. Anyway, you'll notice across the top there are some tabs. The first one being about, and that gives uh, people a general overview about the course as well as the contact details, or a general overview about the course, how to join the course, and then the contact details for the facilitators. And then the next tab in there is news, and we've already looked at news, and the latest item will be at the top with older items down below. I might point out at this point uh, the archive. You see 2009, month of February, and the posts in February. 2008, there are 32 articles. 2007, there are 40. 2006, there are 18. They're uh, past runnings of the course, so if you're interested, you could go back to see how the course was run before, and what issues came up, and things like that, all the way back to 2006. The next tab is Join. How to join the course and it gives you some information about how to join. In particular, it points you to um, an email forum called the Flexible Learning Practitioners, and that is just general discussion forum uh, for people doing the course, as well as people interested generally about flexible learning. And uh, there's quite a number of people who have done the course already who are still part of that list. So if you're interested in joining that forum, you just put your email address in here and subscribe. Uh, also, you'll notice that in the instructions, it will ask you to introduce yourself by way of comment at the bottom of this particular page. There's the comment, post a comment. And in the instructions, you are to introduce yourself and give us a link to your blog. Here are the links of the participants from 2008. And uh, they've set up blogs and they use those blogs to progress, take, make notes, submit their assignments to uh, in the course, etc. Uh, in 2009, we don't have any participants who have introduced themselves yet, but the list of blogs will come in here. So the idea is in the instructions you read, um, you leave a comment with a link to your blog after you've set it up. And there are help resources on how to set up a blog if you haven't done that already. So that's join. The course follows a schedule, a schedule of topics. If you click that tab, the information there basically explains that the course schedule is actually kept on a wiki, a wiki called Wiki Educator. And the link is here. If we click this link, it will take us to a new website, the Wiki Educator website, where the course schedule is being held. Now, this is just background information for you if you want to know what's coming up in the course or everything there is to know about the course, basically. A wiki uh, for people who are logged in is a page, a web page that can be edited. Um, and you can see all the historical versions of this and, uh, and whatnot through the history tab up here. So the way the wiki is laid out is if we look at the contents bar here, we have learning objectives, then we have schedule, and then we have all the items, the topics that we go through in the schedule. First one being orientation and introductions, the second being what is, a fl what is flexible learning, the third being examples of flexible learning, the fourth is flexible learning in educational organizations, the fifth is considerations for flexible learning, the sixth is then, what is your idea now that you've done those topics? The seventh is develop a presentation. It's getting into the assignments. You are to, to develop a presentation of your idea. And then the eighth is to join a course mini conference. It'll be an online conference where you present your presentation. The assignments, there are two assignments. One is to 
keep a regular weblog. They call it a weekly weblog here. We'll probably change the name of that to topical weblog. So in each of these topics, you post to your blog a response. And then assignment two is the presentation that you make about your idea. And then further on from there is the assessment criteria and general help and support that is available. So that's the contents bar, and it's all on one page here on the wiki. The learning objectives, the schedule, then we have the first topic orientation and introductions, and the way the topics are laid out are italics is a general intro to the topic, the to-do list, one, two, three, four, five things to do in this particular topic, and then the extra resources that will support you through those things. The next topic then is flexible. Uh, what is flexible learning? The italics are an introduction to the topic, the to-do list, there are one, two, three things to do this topic, and the extra resources, so on and so forth. The third topic, examples of flexible learning, the intro, the to-do, and in this particular instance, at the moment, there are no extra resources except for the links that are available in the to-do list, and so on and so forth, each of the topics like this. So it's all on one page. You just scroll on down and follow along where you're up to. Now that's the course schedule. That's everything there is to know about the course formally. But really, the main thing you need to remember is the Flexible Learning Course website. That's the flexible-learning-course.blogspot.com knowing that the latest information will be posted here so that as we progress to the next topic, a new post will be made here summarizing everyone's efforts so far in the previous topic and introducing the next topic. So this is really the primary thing that you need to follow this website here, watching out for new news. Okay, this has been a recording to introduce the course and the way it's laid out. And uh, excuse me about the background there. Um, and uh, hopefully it'll, it's uh, made you feel confident in terms of where to go to get information and who, how to contact your facilitators. Just a reminder on that one, you contact them by clicking the About tab and the contact details are below. Okay, good luck with your course.